friends, so I am working on this project to recycle a utility sink that I own. So it came out of the t-shirt shop that I started to open, just never got off the ground. And I want to apologize in advance, my hair is a mess. Um, all the hair salons and barbers are closed in Houston due to the coronavirus. So um, yeah, and as soon as I can find a pair of clippers, buzz cut something easy to maintain. But anyway, back to this video. So I've got this utility sink and basically it's a little lower than I would like. Um, so I'm gonna take the legs off it. I'm gonna build a custom stand for it. And then I'm gonna install it outside where it'll be easy to get to so that when my hands are messy, I can just go clean my hands outside, not have to go into the house. And um, that's what this video is about, is about repurposing this sink and installing it. So uh, one of the things I've already done is I've already extended my hot and cold water lines over. They're partially complete. We'll see that later in this video. I'm using PEX, which I think is a great system because it's quick and easy to work with. And I'll have some neat tool reviews that are part of the video. So first things first, I've got this sink. Kind of nasty on the inside, but that doesn't matter. This All right, so first things first, I need to figure out what the footprint is here. 18 and a half by 18. So um, I wanna give some thought to how I want this to work. And um, then I've got a piece of pressure treated lumber that I'm gonna cut. So let me get this set up, I'll be right back. I'm gonna give this an eighth of an inch of left to right play. And I've gone ahead and taken the P-trap. I think. So I'm going to run the support forward and back. Uh, no, I take that back. I'm going to run them left to right. And I put one here and one here. The back of the sink will stay put. And then that's going to allow me to run braces along the sides, which will serve to keep these in place. And then I'll put another board across the front to keep it in the front. And the back will sit against there. So this measures exactly 18. So I'm going to put it at 18 and a quarter. That's going to give me a little bit of room for play. And um, I'm going to use my Hitachi chop saw. Now, in case you're wondering how this is mounted, um, there's a video on this whole this whole workbench assembly. So first things first, I want to square up the end. And now I'm going to set my 18 and a quarter. It's going to be a pain in the butt. I've got to walk the end piece in in order to set this. Now, in case you're wondering why I cut the end off, sometimes they're not square, sometimes they've got crap sticking out, sometimes they're damaged. So I like to just cut the last quarter half inch off the, off the piece of wood if I know I don't need it. So let me get these cut. That did not turn out how I expected it to, so let me see how bad it is. It's shorter than I want it to be.
All right, that's good. Okay, so I've got those two pieces. Now I need to calculate the total length here. So I need twenty-three and a half, and I do not have enough lumber to finish this and treat it. Plus, I gotta move this back out. So I'll just use the floor and it'll get me by. And before I get too much further,
Yeah, I don't know what was in here, but whatever it was, it's eating the paint. That's always a good sign. I think it was simple green. tray completed. Now I've just got to build some legs for it. And really it only needs legs on this end down here. That's the only place it really needs legs. I would like to do these um, So I'm going to have to get another piece of uh, treated lumber. So I need another 2x4 that's pressure treated uh, to be uh, resistant to insects. Um, so I'm going to have to stop for here. But the next step is this is going to go on like this. They'll be at the back that mounts to the wall. Uh, and actually, let's see where we're at. Yeah. So, all we're good, but it's going to take another. I'll see if I can find it in the in the discount bin at Home Depot. I, I don't need a full piece of pressure treated, and I might replace that sideboard because um, that's really sorry looking. Anyway, so that's it for tonight. There. Um, and I need a couple pieces of plumbing. I'm using an inch and a half, so I need to recreate that trap. And then I need to be able to connect it to the um, the, the drain. And uh, I've already got the lines ready to go for this. Uh, once I get this installed, I'll drill the holes to bring them through the wall. And then I'll connect it. It's probably going to be on the side where it's easy to get to and easy to seal and watch uh, for trouble. Um, anyway, thanks for watching so far. And there's more to this video coming up tomorrow.
All right, so now what I need to do is I need to set up outside and uh, we're gonna get this installed. Um, one of the things you may notice is I picked up this Milwaukee uh, bin slash organizer. I used to have a DeWalt one. I have no idea what happened to it. It had a whole bunch of SPAC screws in it. At any rate, good, good habits don't die easily, so I bought another one. I like this a little bit better than DeWalt. It's got bigger bins and the handles on the outside, which gives you two more bins for storage. It was $19.99 at Home Depot. A little expensive, but you know, having all my screws in one spot is something I appreciate. Uh, all the boxes got recycled, and I put just the little, little piece in the, of the top of the box that tells me what the screw is um, in there. And when I'm done, I can seal it up and my screws are much less likely uh, to, to go somewhere else. And on that note, I will go ahead and seal this shut because more than once I've picked that up and dumped all my screws out. But let me uh, stop the camera and get this set up outside and we'll start putting the sink in.